I've got to start. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to... I've set aside 10 minutes. Set aside 10 minutes. Do you think you can keep this particular bit to 10 minutes? I'll time you, and I'll let you know when it's over. <laughs> I've got to talk to you about Merseyside Derby. Because I've got you on. Uh, Pickford, Virgil van Dijk, 10 minutes. Starts now. Say whatever the heck you like. <laughs> right, okay. Um... I mean, I'll, I'll try and best not bias come into it. I think everyone oh, no, no, seen no, no, now. No, 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 you be biased. You completely go off on one. Well, he should just, have been sent just off. Just don't swear. Jo- <laughs> right, Jordan Pickford should have been sent off. Plain and simple. Anyone can see that now. Um, the the fact that there's been no retrospective action just speaks of the the corruption of the referees in this country and the absolute ignorance that they exude every time that. Uh, you know something happens um the fact that Jordan Pickford hasn't come out after the match and actually publicly said anything you know oh apparently he called Ancelotti oh he did you know put a message through to, to Jordan Henderson to pass on to Virgil apparently that's good enough these days um he might as well send it in I, a tweet you, you know I've got people saying oh well it wasn't intentional he didn't intentionally look to hit man like it doesn't matter whether it was intentional or not. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if it was because I don't like. I just think Jordan Pickford is a, a a cocky brat who thinks he's good when he isn't. Um, the fact of the matter is, he has lunged into him, completely missed the ball, and if he put any, if if any more force had been put through, that could have snapped his ankle. Is like, you know, could have been a lot worse than it actually is when you actually see the angles of it. The fact that when you see how straight and almost bent back is Van Dijk's knee is, could have been a lot worse. Um. Yeah, I mean, I've already ranted and raved to the wall by myself all week long about it. I mean, there's not more to say. No one's going to happen. This still's going to be allowed to get been away with. Decided, yeah, he has. You know, they they came out. I, I saw Sky Sports News midweek. I saw Ancelotti's press conference and how he got, you know, Pickford to apologise, and the apology Ooh. was kind of like, "Yeah, I'm sorry." Uh, it, like yeah. you know, <laughs> so, sorry, sorry. I've just, sorry, I've just like you know, made you injured for you know the rest of the season. I, I finally saw, just um, realised what it reminded me of. It reminded me of an apology from one of the in between us. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. sorry. Yeah, you can see it. And I, and I, if I was if I was Van Dyke, I'd come and say, you know, shove your bloody apology up, up your jacksy. Yeah, up your backside. Yeah, to be polite. It it doesn't matter how I saw I saw on, on Sky Sports this week there was um I can't remember the former player's name was and he said why don't he do something where if it's an injury like that where it's seven to eight months out at the least then why 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 can't they bring something in where even if it's retrospectively after the match even if you don't do it during the match where the player who commits the tackle is banned for that same length of time yeah make it so there's actually a bit of justice in it because yeah. what's happened now is that. The referees are using, I mean, forget even VAR, just ref- referees themselves are being allowed to get away with silly errors and then no one's allowed to criticise them because they protect each other. Because David Coote doesn't even quite say anything because, you know, who's, who's, the, who's the, the head ref of the PC2L? What's his name? Um can't remember his name, but he can, basically you can you can tell that in, you know, back, you know, back rooms of their officers, they're going, don't say a thing, you know, we'll protect you. It, it, it's infuriating how why can't the referee no matter who it is can come out and just explain themselves if, or if it's a really contentious decision like this where everyone is saying they screwed that up why can't the referees like like a panel ret- after the match come over and look it over and make a, a consensus just decision to either overturn it or to you know to keep it up, upheld it why can't it be retrospective um action yeah. a- analysis i think there is like there is a body for that they just tend not to use it and as you said come like it is um <laughs> the you, from the description you use the best way to describe the referees they're like a mafia they're like a mafia and they yeah. protect themselves they protect each other because they protect the integrity not of the game but the, the of integrity themselves. of refereeing yes exactly themselves that's all they care about they don't care about the match being because I, I thought people love football as a sport and I will always love football because it's about the players the players decide matches in recent years especially with the introduction of VR but we won't go into that we'll just stick to the referees themselves 
it, they've made it more and more about themselves. They're not following their own rules. The rules themselves are a joke because that convoluted and they, they're constantly having to change them because the referees themselves are not following their own rules. And they put themselves above the law in a way. Like they're making themselves making themselves centre of attention. The worst worst suspects is, I mean, people wonder why people are constantly saying, Oh, in the other European leagues, why is VAR and the referee standards work so well there? Because they're actually competent. You know. Yeah. You see they they make the right more often than not, they make the right decisions. Or if a referee misses something, the VAR ref will say, Well, I haven't seen it either, or I'm not hundred percent sure. Go and check the monitor. Why didn't David Coot last weekend say to Michael Oliver, who himself, you know, we call him the greatest, the best referee in the Premier League, which he is, because um, he gets most things right. Why didn't he say to him, go and check the monitor? Why didn't he say that? Because he didn't want to. Because he said, he can't, he, he, I said, I, see, I saw on social media that he forgot that he could, he could go back and give the red cards, whether it was offside or not for Van Dijk. Mm. But then midweek, you see him PG2L come out saying, well, he did look at it. He was just the only person in the world, the one who actually, you know, whose opinion mattered on the decision. He's the only person who thought, oh, that wasn't red card. If that if that tackle happened anywhere on the pitch, it'd be a straight red card and a three-match ban for dangerous dangerous foul play. I don't care what anyone says. And, and the, you, know, you know what disgusts me? And I don't say this much because I'm not, I don't think I see myself bitter, but all we... Everton fans on Twitter, not all of them, not all of them, because hmm. I, because I'll, 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 I won't bias. I'll say I know that there's some bad Liverpool fans out there, right? But just personally, from my own experience, I've seen more bad Everton fans, right? But some of the stuff they were putting on Twitter, saying that they they stand with um with Jordan Bickford and you know oh it's oh it's karma and that, it's disgusting. Hmm. Uh, it's it's so unprofessional, and, and you've seen I've seen some um, former Everton players um, for Richardson tackle just going away from the Van Dyke one. Richardson tackle I've seen him sent off. You seen some of the Everton players on on Instagram laughing, putting laughing emojis because I think I think Alan it's a picture of Alan with the referee on that decision, and he's like and he's he's trying to you know stop him from you know appeal against it. And uh, Alan, I suppose, says, uh, oh, so- sorry, mate, for not being able to stop, whatever. And all four, lo- lo- loads of Everton players with laughing face emojis, laughing about it. Yeah. Like, Ti- Thiago got injured for that. It wasn't a big injury, but he got injured after that. He, got- he missed the match. He had to get taken for a scan in hospital. And you got your former, you got your Everton players laughing about it. Yeah. Like, it just leaves a bad taste in your mouth. Like, if I saw, uh, if we played someone and I saw an opposition player get injured, no matter what how severe it was, and I seen Liverpool players laughing about it. I don't think it would happen because I think Liverpool players got a bit more class than that. But I've mm. seen Liverpool players laughing about it. I just think don't laugh about it. But you know, it's not not very. Where, where's the sportsmanship? But just going back, God, off on a tangent there. But um, I mean, un- until until some in you know organization or, or body that can. You know, go you know from the outside and have a look in and and, and review PG two L as an as an organisation and the referees individually and, and their performances. Nothing's going to change in them because all this secrecy, it's all this you know, arrogance, and it's all this. Well, we don't care if you criticise us; we're not going to change our mind. Um, I just don't understand how there can't be any retrospective action and all the excuses. Well. He did see the thing, and he's made a decision that it wasn't a red card. Yeah. Why, if 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 it's that blatant of a wrong decision, why can't you go back and change it? Why can't you? It's only fair. So it, it just makes me annoyed. This, it, as I said, I was sit, sitting there on Saturday and Sunday after watching some of the matches, and it it, it just got me really down about the sport itself. I just the sport itself because referees these days is making me so angry and bitter. I don't want to be like that. It's the first time I've ever been this way. Yeah. And it's it's just this is the way the sport's going at the moment. Like, I think referees think they can get away with it because there's no fans in the arena in, in the stadiums. If there if there were if there were fans there, then I don't think they'd be able to get away with it because they'd have all the fans or you know whoever team is 
the decisions you are against will be heckling them like mad. So it's it's just how referees are not. This, they say that they're allowed for human error because they're only human, but on the twist side of it, if you're human, you know better than anyone else. You should be allowed to be criticised. Either if a manager or a player comes out and criticises you in their post-match interview, or if it's a, a truly contentious decision, you should be allowed to come out and explain your reasoning. Absolutely. You should be forced to. Yeah. And I, I've seen some things from people saying like, well, then every decision they're going to have to come out after every match and explain every decision. Not necessarily. If it's if it's a case where a decision is that contentious, where it's, it's seriously down to the wire and it's they're truly not 100% sure, and they make a decision only for those ones, something which is blatantly a bad decision, like that Jordan Pickford one, you know, the that also relates to the offside one with Mane at the end. If, if David Coot, the one who's drawing the lines, show Mane offside, show, actually come out and explain how you draw lines, because you see them sitting there for 10, 15 seconds, redrawing the lines over and over again and so I've, I've seen some people saying well the delib- you know, he deliberately redrawn lines to make Mane look offside when he isn't now it's immediately close but when you see it coming down to and I was saying to me dad about this comes down to lengths of arm hair offside, millimetres that's not what the sport's about uh, VAR is meant to be brought in for outright contentious decisions not Oh, offsides where it's millimeters and stuff like that. It's just it's just ruined the sport. And with that, da 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 da. Boom. You actually didn't use your ten minutes. You've actually got three minutes to spare, to be fair. But um, fancy going on for, been, for three more minutes? Or, or do you, actually time. Or, or do, do you yeah. feel that that therapy has worked for you? To be honest, I was kind of not really thinking about it, and then you mentioned it again before to me, so I thought, well, I'll have to bring up all that misery again. Uh, <laughs> but now I'm okay. 